Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to go over how to upgrade your Mac to the very newest operating system as of October 2021. It's Mac OS 12 Monterey. Now this Mac here is a MacBook Pro and I'm running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.6. It's the latest one uh, up until the new version that's uh, just come out for Mac. So we're going to do an upgrade. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. You can actually go into the App Store here and find the upgrade from there. If you go in here, just type in Monterey return, then you should get a listing for it here. You can click on View. Here you get some information. Now it's going to be a big download. We can see here it's 12 gigs. And you can hit Get and it'll actually uh, look for the update here in the software update um, control panel inside System Preferences. Now I'm just going to close out of that for a second and quit here. So we can actually do this a lot easier. You may see in your System Preferences if your Mac is compatible with it, uh, there's a uh, there should be either a number one, in this case I've got a number two, I've got two alerts in here, um, that there's an upgrade that's available here. So you can actually click here on software update and it will check for updates and show if macOS Monterey is available for your Mac. Now we're waiting for that to complete. What I'm going to do here is go up into Safari and there's a page here that I'm going to link in the description below. And here you get some more information on how to upgrade to macOS Monterey. And here you can get some information about the compatibility is to see if your computer is compatible with this. So we get a lot of questions as to whether my computer is compatible with different upgrades that we showcase here. So this is a really great tool, so I'll link it below. Now basically, nothing that you bought from 2013 or, uh, or earlier will be compatible. And that's really just going back to the Mac Pro. If you've got a MacBook or a MacBook Air, it's really nothing, nothing earlier than 2015 or so that you can upgrade. And in fact, this operating system upgrade, there's been some reports out there that it's bricking or really um, messing up Macs uh, that are older when you try to do an upgrade. So really in, in reality, I wouldn't upgrade anything that's older than probably about 2017, 2016 at the, at the earliest uh, to upgrade. If you've got an older Mac, you can actually use this link here uh, to install an older version of the Mac OS. And in fact, you can check on our channel. We've got some guides on how to find old versions of the Mac OS to upgrade to. If you got an older one, one of these, 2013 to 2015, I wouldn't go beyond maybe High Sierra, um, maybe one or two versions after that, but, uh, but don't go too, too far. You don't want to mess up your computer. Now, after checking the compatibility, the main thing that you really need to do just in case anything goes wrong is make sure you have a backup. It is 100% critical to have a backup. This is a big upgrade. We're going from 11, or even earlier if you've got an older operating system on your computer to version 12 there's a lot of new stuff in here so it's very important to make a backup because the system is going to make a lot of changes as you're going through it's not going to get rid of your documents or your pictures or your music or anything like that but it's going to change a lot in the system so do make sure you have a backup and the best way to have a backup is really to use time machine so we'll just quit out of safari here and you'll see that i've got a USB hard drive connected to my computer uh, that has a, a time machine backup on there. So I made sure it ran, it was current, um, and I've got a backup there just in case anything goes wrong. Now in System Preferences, if you click on Software Update, you'll see that it'll offer you macOS Monterey as an upgrade if it's compatible with your Mac. So if you don't see this in here, don't even bother trying to do the upgrade. Go for an older operating system instead. Now you can just click on Upgrade Now. And what it'll do is find the software on Apple servers and start to download it. Now it's a large download here. See it's 12.13 gigabytes. And I've got a fairly fast uh, gigabit uh, internet connection. So it's going to download here in about 20 minutes. Now if you've got a slower connection, it could take longer. It could take two or three hours to download. 
So just be patient and let it run through the download. So I'll speed this up for the video just so you don't have to watch it uh, do the download and then we'll come back for the rest of the upgrade. Now here your Mac will reboot automatically or you can press the blue reboot button. And now your Mac will reboot several times and the screen will go dark several times too. So don't worry, it's just doing its thing. Well, our update is complete. And when the update is uh, fully completed, the updater will bring you back to the software update window here in System Preferences. And if there's anything new, let's say a, a like a smaller update to the OS, or in this case, I've got uh, an update for one of the um, one of the components for a Pro Video in mine that's available. You can always choose that and update now. Now I'm going to do that later. Let's just check, and we can ensure that the update is fully complete here. So yeah, we see macOS Monterey version 12.0.1. This is an early version. And then we get all the information about this MacBook Pro that it's loaded on. We get a new desktop background here and we get a number of new features. So if we were actually uh, want to look at more of the features, you can go in here to apple.com slash macOS slash Monterey slash features. And I'll link this below as well. And then we get a website uh, that has a listing of all the new features and enhancements. So there's a lot to do with sharing on a lot of the different applications. So in this case, where it's talking about sharing in FaceTime, in messages. So everything's really getting more and more coordinated between the Mac and the other devices you might use, your iPhone and your iPad. Uh, Safari, there's a whole tab groups area. That'll be dangerous for me because I keep too many tabs open and this will make it a lot easier to keep even more tabs open. Better sidebar, uh, more security and privacy, and then focus is a big new feature and we'll go do a separate video on this where you can actually allow the Mac at certain times of the day to allow you to focus more directly on your work with less distractions. And we get a lot of other features all the way through. This is a good listing of all the features. Well, I hope you found this video helpful on how to upgrade your Mac to the new Mac OS Monterey. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And share this video with uh, any friends or colleagues that you know who might need to upgrade their system. And comment down below if you had any problems or issues with it. Like I said, make sure you get a backup done before you do this upgrade. And be careful if you're on an older machine. I've heard reports of it bricking or damaging older machines. Well, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.